morning again Lord we just come saying thank you we thank you for the word today we thank you for those that are standing at the altar Lord some have come to the altar of sacrifice they come to lay their problems upon you Lord because they found that they oppress them and they hold them down and that they can't move forward that they're somewhat depressed with things going on around about them but Lord right now we place it in your hand because we know that without you, we can do absolutely nothing. And with you, we can do all things. So, Lord, we pray for those that are calm and standing around the altar. We ask now, Lord, that you would hear their prayer. As I stand and pray uh, corporately, they will pray individually. As their, uh, their requests are sent up to you, Lord, as a sweet Savior, we ask now that you would hear their cry. And Lord, once you look down on them with the anointing of the Holy Spirit, if you find anything there that should not be, we ask right now that you remove it. Lord, if they're in need of healing, Lord, heal them where they stand. If they are in need of help, Lord, you know what help they need. We ask that you give it to them right now. Lord, we have those that have infirmities within their bodies, and it seems like they can't get well. We know that you are the potter, and we are no more than the clay that you can fix us, shape us, mold us in any way, and that because you are our creator, no matter what it is or what problem we have, you know, we know that you're able to fix it. So, Lord, right now we ask that you fix each and every one of them. Lord, our kids are getting ready to go back to school, and some already have transitioned to that point. But, Lord, whatever condition they might be in, we ask now that you put a hedge of protection around about them. Keep them away from all hurt, harm, and danger. Allow them to continue to go out and serve you and allow the people that see them know that they are your children. Keep Satan away from them, Lord. Keep the peer pressure from upon them to cause them to fall away. Lord, we ask that you just continue to prop them up on every side. Give the parents, Lord, and the grandparents equally the, the uh, uh, ability to stand and hold you up while their kids are out there going through whatever it is they're going through. Because we know without you we can do nothing. So, Lord, we ask now that you would just be there with us. Lord, we have those that are sick on our sick list, those that are shut up inside the homes and in the prison system, Lord. You are everywhere at the same time. So, Lord, right now we are asking that you take and hear their cry, that you would just continue to give them strength to hold on to see what the end is going to be. Lord, we have Brother Jerry Rothschild. He's sick this, week, this time of the year in his life. But, Lord, we may not know him, but you do. And, Lord, we ask for prayer. We pray for his healing right now, Lord. Lord, we ask that you give him the strength to hold on, Lord. And as he's holding on, that you give him joy, peace, and happiness. 
Even though in the midst of our storm, we may not always know what is going to happen in the end, but we know one thing that you know and that because you know we can lean and depend on you. All these that are standing around the altar have some type of problem. I don't know what they are, but you do. So as they go send them up to you as a sweet savior, we ask that you hear them and answer each and every one of them because you know them from the top of their head down to the sole of their feet. So Lord, because you do, we thank you right now and we ask that you continue to be there with us, to lead us, guide us, direct us, and protect us. This we ask your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment. Oh. We thank you for what all has been said, all that has been done this day. We ask now that you bless the food that has been prepared in the bag for the nourishment of our body. And as we stand down from this place, oh Lord, that we never leave your presence. This we ask your son, Jesus' name. Oh, it's your season to be blessed. I made you a promise, you stood. Peace.